Hey everyone, it's Fox from ModelMakingGuru.com here. <sighs> right, in response to Ted Hawksworth and his let's all film our workbenches and work areas. <sighs> I suppose I'm going to have to now, so I'm going to have to show you where I work. Now, I'll prepare you. Uh, I don't know what image you have of me, whether I'm some super duper professional model maker with all the equipment you could possibly want, or whatever. The reality is, I'm not. I'm just some guy, I'm usually skint, not got a lot of money, uh, and I enjoy what I do, it's my one passion. And I like to teach that passion to other people. And the latest build I'm doing, the St. Andrew Stein, is done on a how to do it on a budget, because I'm always skin. I'm rubbish with money, so I'm always skin. I don't have much money. The stuff I've got, I've built up over years, or I've got some freebies here and there, or whatever. So, don't think that I've got some big, super duper high tech uh, model making room or building or anything like that. I would love, I'll tell you this, Ted, I would love to have a shed or garage to convert into a model making space to be nice and clean. No, that's never going to happen. Not for a long, long time. So, anyway, let's have a look at what I've got. Words compact and bijou. By that, I mean it's a shit tip and it's in a bedroom, basically. So, this is what we've got. This is the work area you often see. It's quite small. It was a bit bigger, but I moved my spray booth and now we've got smaller. We have my spray booth here. It's an old spray booth from the E e models. As you can see, there's always a scene of carnage going on here. It always is. Basically, what I've got is. This long paste table, which came from somewhere, I don't know where. Uh, it's about six foot long. That's my entire workspace. Ideally, I'd have the whole table, but I've got to fit in this spray booth and all these paints and stuff. Now, before you start saying, oh, you need to get some shelves for your paints. Yeah, I know about that. I could put some shelves in, but the walls in this house are so old, you put a nail in, it just falls out. So I haven't got that option. So. Yeah, I could get. I might get some modular stuff to put things in, but again, I'm always skint, so yeah, not buying that anytime soon. So we've got a big paste table, we've got a little working area here. My mats are down. On this side, we have all the stuff I go to. I go to use my brushes, my tools, um, all the glues and paints. This is the kit that's in progress. More space taken up. I'm not using uh, stuff over here that I don't use that often. Stuff right at the back that I hardly ever touch, but I'll probably need it. There's some pastels and things down there. Uh, what are we doing for lighting? For lighting, we have two of these things. Uh, a lot of people ask me about these. Let's see if I can get this one over here. It's it's called Seiko, S-E-I-C-O-O, -O, if I remember correctly. I got them from Amazon. Let's see the thing down there. And they're kind of really cool. You can make them, they go from solid white to yellow. You can change the tone. And they also go from very light, to it's very bright, to really subtle shade. So they've got a lot of controls on them. They also have a USB port. I don't know why, but they do. It doesn't work. They're about 50 quid on Amazon. I tried to look at them recently, but I'd, they've gone. So good luck finding one. They're poseable. Uh, the LEDs. I also have this thing on an angle poise here, which I got from uh, Home Base. Home Base. 70 quid. No, it's from Hobbycraft. 70 quid angle poise lamp with a, a natural light bulb. Everything's now black. All you can see is the circle. Uh, that gives me my overhead light. I don't always use that one. As you can see, if I turn it off, it goes a bit darker. But what I find is, it's great if I'm not doing something that's white. I'm doing something white, all you see is explosions of white on the screen, so I don't always have that one on. The camera is this thing that you're looking at now. It's my iPhone, iPhone 5. I would like a nice camera. I've got an iPhone 5. I can't afford a camera. iPhone 5 works for me. Even though this one's a bit knackered, and it's got the little nick on the screen somewhere here that wobbles about. I will get a new one at some point when my contract's up and I can renew it for free. Uh, how do I mount my camera? Dead simple. I have a little grippy thing here on the angle poise lamp. And all I do is clamp the phone in here. Dee -dee -dee -dee. All right, walk a million miles for one of your smiles, my mommy. Sorry. Uh, just clamp the phone in there. And that's it. That's all I do. And then I can move that around to move the camera around. Very similar to Tony and Ted. They've got a mic uh, boom, microphone boom with some gimbals on the end and the camera. I've just got an angle poise lamp and a clamp for my phone. So yes, budget and basic. On this side, we have Alistair Painter in the world. Uh, all my MIG paints that I got the other day. Thank you very much, uh, Mick Jimenez. Uh, and ones that I got three models. I suddenly got all these and thought, brilliant, now where the hell do I put them? So they're in tins, uh, lots of clips. And all the stuff over here that I hardly ever use. I don't even know what half that stuff is. 
It's just stuff gathering dust. It's just placed somewhere. And then a little bit of space for my plugs. Uh, what else have we got? There's my tube for the extractor. Uh, underneath, you don't really want to look underneath because it's just a shit tip of epic proportions. Under here we basically have, you can't really see anywhere, there's a box down here with all kinds of bits and bobs in where my gloves are and stuff I don't really use very often like packs of cotton buds and things like that and plastic bags when I send things off, tapes. Uh, down there we've got some tins of paints that I never use, there's my airbrush and compressor under there that I pull out. Uh, and a box of t-shirts for gunk washing and tissues and there's my tissue roll, more tissue roll, some spare bottles of stuff. And basically that's it. Uh, the, the, what, uh, what you don't know is that it's all see it under a bed that's a loft bed my entire workspace is under my bed that's cool I mean yeah okay I'm 45 and I'm sleeping in a loft bed you know what I don't care I've got loads of extra space and I'm not spending a fortune so it's nice and cheap the point of I was I didn't really want to show this at first because in a little way I'm kind of embarrassed because it's like seeing all you guys with the nice like garages and room set up with all the nice lighting and everything else it's like I'd love that I would really love that a real professional setup but I can't afford it. So, a lot of the angle I've had in a lot of my videos is you don't have to be super rich to do all this. Here's how you can do, or well, you don't have to be super skilled. Here's how to, here's how I do it. Here's what I do. It's, it's a way, not the best way. Um, go and have fun with it. Now, bear in mind, a lot of this stuff I've built up over the years. This is all, you know, often like the old paint here and there. A lot of these things I've built up over the years. So, it's a, it's a collection of many. Now, the thing about me you may not know, if you don't know me in real life, Tony knows because he's been here. Uh, yeah, I, I don't do tidy. I am just the least organized person in the world. So yes, this is a shit tip, especially under there. Uh -huh. We don't go under there. Spiders go under there, that's why I don't go under there. Uh, but it works for me, I know where everything is. Uh, I do have one other thing as well. I have this little puppy. Uh, if I can get it open with one hand, I probably can't. It's this thing. And in here we have the paints, many, many paints. And also, hang on, I've got to do this with one hand. We have the drawers. And in the drawers, we have many things. Lots of decals, tapes. This is the only sort of gesture to storage that I have my oil paints. Do -do -do, more decals, more smoke. Uh, and more bits and bobs and stuff I hardly ever use. Bought this off a friend. Really useful, it's a bit knackered, as you can see. It doesn't quite close. Um, so yeah, a lot of my paints are in there, and that's the only kind of other model storage area I have. Uh, I do have an AK-47 on the wall. How cool is that? For those of you who'd like to know, before you report me to the terrorist squad, it's made of rubber. It's a rubber movie prop. It's actually an AK-47 that was used in the world is not enough. But you know, hey, and there's also a Frenchy Spaz shotgun over there that's also a rubber prop. Uh, movie prop. When I was much younger, I used to collect movie props. So there you go. Uh, oh, one other light I have is this standing corner light. It's basically a, uh, LED bulbs, but they're not quite white, so I reflect it off that piece of backwards poster. Uh, and there you go. That just gives ambient lighting. Uh, unfortunately, the walls are painted slightly yellow, so the downside is everything gets a yellow hue. So at some point, I will go and paint the back of this wall here white because I don't want a yellow hue. And that'll give me lots of reflected light that'll lighten everything. But that's it. There you go. It's a shit tip. It's scruffy, it's messy, it's small, it's on a budget. Not proud of it, it works. All I care about is this area. I don't care about this bit, or that bit, or down there. I care about this bit, because this is where I do what I love, and this is all that matters. So, if you're just starting out, if you don't have a massive budget, don't start stressing because you haven't got you know, a massive working desk, or these fancy lights, or all the paint. Just work where you can, whether you're working in a little kitchen table, or a desk in the front bedroom, it doesn't matter doesn't matter at all. All that matters is this bit. This is the important bit. And that bit as well. Obviously in there. Which isn't always full of shit. It's usually a spray booth. This is the important bit. And that's all that matters. That's it. I better go away now. I've got uh, Shinanji Stein to paint. <sighs> Alright, have a good weekend everyone. And uh, as always, um, I'd, oh, I forgot to show you. Yes, I was around when Halo first came out and I love Halo. Adios amoebas!